Hello, hello, it's Michelle Pepper here and um, welcome to my classes to go video. So today I want to uh, feature this stamp set here called Merriest Moments from Stamping Up um, and also it has a coordinating Merriest Frames hybrid embossing folder. Now, uh, so in the video today we will be working through uh, from start to finish two projects and I hope you love them I am excited to demonstrate them to uh, for you and um, and remember with classes to go is that you can actually get these kits from me um, so two of so two projects so we um, you can get two kits of each design of each of the projects so four kits and all together and um, you can get them from me um, when you place an order a minimum order of $40 um, with me this week so it is um, 40 New Zealand dollars so um, remember as per stamping up policy this is only available to uh, people who are living in New Zealand um, of course if you're not in New Zealand you can still watch the video because that's available to everyone um, but I can only take orders from New Zealanders um, so yeah so um, 40 New Zealand dollars and, 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 I'll, get, and I'll get those four uh, car kits uh, sent to you. So just remember to use my host code because that way I would also be able to get your address. Um, now, I do apologize in advance if you hear any snoring in the background. It's not me. Uh, it's actually my dogs. I've got two dogs here. And um, yeah, they are kind of sleeping, snoring, and I'm annoying them, I guess, making videos and noises. Um, yeah. So if they do snore, that's the, that's that that's where the noise is coming from. It's not me, right? Let's get on to it. So welcome to the merriest moments um, class to go with Michelle Pepper. Um, when you place an order with me uh, in New Zealand for a minimum order of forty dollars, um, New Zealand dollars in products, and that's before shipping. Um, I the and and during this week. Um, I will be able to send you, I will send you um, two of each kit. So there will be two cat, two cart designs and two of each. So there will be four kits in total that will be in the mail to you um, so that you can complete the project. You can um, finish the cards um, in, at home because you will have this video tutorial. So you'll be able to see how it's all done. Um, so yeah, so... Merry's moments. Um, we have the stamp set uh, in the mini catalog, and also the coordinating embossing hybrid embossing folder, which comes with an embossing folder, which is a three D one, um, and then also the die cuts, the dies. So it's a really fabulous um, set of dies here. So there are these big outline. Um, and then there's a more intricate detail one um, with a, also a little square stitch frame which you can use independently of this set obviously um, and then there's these um, dies that cut the um, images out of these okay all these um, stamps anyway so what I will do is put these aside and let's get on with project number one so project number one is um, oh dear it's this card here so I haven't actually done the inside yet okay but that will be how it goes um, and that's what it looks like with stamped um, images um, and if you are so as per stamping out policy I in the kits I won't be able to give you stamped images so you'll get a piece of paper instead, um, a piece of cardstock where there's room enough for you to stamp all the images that is required that are required for this project. Um, and if you don't have the stamp set, then you might want to consider placing that order with me. Um, or if you can perhaps think of what you have in your stash that you can substitute with that would still you know be able to make this. Um, complete this card and it just will look a little bit different which is absolutely fine so I will be able to emboss that for you and I will also be cutting these out for you so with this kit we have a look 
let's pull these out. I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, so in, so yeah, I considered maybe maybe with this one, I could do the die cuts of the flowers so that if you don't, if you aren't able to stamp the um, images, um, then at least you can have the flowers. Um, yeah, so I am contemplating on whether I should do that. It just depends on um, how much extra work that um, that means I have to do, you know. Because um, <laughs> obviously I'd have to cut these kits for you. Um, and I'm not sure I want to be cutting all these little pieces as well. Um, but I could do that, perhaps, like... Yeah, well, I, what I'll do is I'll demonstrate um, this one with these um, flowers that aren't stamped and then you can see the difference, right? Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have actually, um, in this one, I have actually made a crease using the bone folder, right? Um, let me see. I think I could just do that. And a ruler, and grab a ruler. So if I can just do, see it's a little bit fiddly when you have to do it this way. So it's much easier if you have the stamp set, the coordinating stamp set. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do that. And that just gives it a little bit more dimension, right? When you just kind of have a little thing instead of just a flat. Um, piece. Alright, so we've got that. And then the flowers. Uh, again, we could do that as well, I guess. Um, just to give it a little bit more dimension to the flower. Point set here. Oh. I think you can see. I think I'm in the frame. Yep. So that and just playing and maneuvering because it's otherwise it's really flat um, and compared to this it's kind of got dimension and interest to it okay so that's all I'm doing here okay right gonna do oops yeah right the silicon mat is so useful right um there you go, you could add that. If you do not have that, you could add that to your order. Um, and they are just so fabulous for doing things like this. Um, or for uh, when you're working with liquid glue. Oh gosh, uh, that is like, I just love using it. Okay, so now I'm just kind of giving it a little bit more dimension. Now we've got some dimension and we can put these together. So let's see, there is like this area here where there's a big gap and so I think it kind of sits in there nicely. Um, yeah, I would do it that way. Okay, but you can just play around. Um, what will I do? I think I will just use glue. I would just use the um, liquid glue. All right, and then I'm going to put it on here. Okay, and then the leaves. So I'll just go like that, like that. Something like that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's put some glue on the bottom here. Now I've recently discovered too, and you could test test it out for me too if you um if you want to. But um, you know how sometimes with liquid glue you get 
really gunky your fingers get glue everywhere I find that if you then just rub it on the silicon it does help get rid of it um, but yeah I only just kind of by accident and discovered it recently so test it out and if you feel the same um, let me know because that's that'll be good uh, just thinking I'm just going to let it dry a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit wet. I'm going to let that one dry a little bit while we work on the next part. So this is a vellum card. Well, typically we don't use vellum this way, but I saw um, uh, Rhonda Wade, who's a demonstrator in the US, she made a card with the with the vellum card stock as the card base and I really like the idea so I thought I'll do that with this okay so what I've done is um yeah so you take so take a normal um just a standard card size and just score it in half and then make sure you burnish it with the um bone folder All right so then um I have already uh, in the interest of like time so that the video doesn't go on too long. Um, I have pre-embossed this. And actually in your kit it will be pre-embossed. Yep, it will be pre-embossed as well. So um, now, just so you know what to do. Um, you get a piece of cardstock. So that's the same size. You get a piece of cardstock and you put it in the folder. So like so. And just kind of make sure it's centered. And it's, it's straight. Okay, so it's ready to go now. The sandwich for this is, um, with our embossed machine, is platform number one. So you want to put that, and then you want to put this folder, and then you need to use number four, which is the dark grey one. Okay, it says number four. So this is your sandwich. That goes into your big shot and roll it through and then when it comes out voila it will be embossed so i will um just kind of move that out of the way and move that out of the way that's just to show you that how to get that and if you get this really lovely embossed piece that i have used this um, for so many projects so i will show you at the end of the video when we finish these two cards um, I will show you some samples, uh, some other samples. Um, right, so to put this on, I am just going to use glue. Which I think will be alright. Let's have a look. Kind of dust. I don't think it shows up too bad. But you can use. Um, uh, you can definitely use um, stamping seal or stamping seal plus as well. And in fact, I think I did use stamping seal plus for this one. And I don't think it's visible. So yeah, so that's a that's a win. All right. So that's my sample. So then you've done. So that's the first part, and then with the inside, this one, that's the it's a, exactly the same size, and it's for the inside of the card. Let's do some stamping, shall we? Let's do some stamping. So we've got the little holly berry things. Um, let me see. I need uh, red. So the color that I'm using is red, and poinsettia was also red. So let's just see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to just stamp in some holly berries here in the corner. Right. And then I'm going to put this away so I don't get um, 
I have all these shadows and let me just try. Oh, that's better. Now we're working in the dark. But hopefully there's less shadow. No, there's still a lot of shadow. Maybe. Okay, well we'll see how we go. Now I'm going to use that little green leaf and old olive as the uh, colour that I'm using. Um, it's going to go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Two. Mm. Okay. I think that's pretty cool for the inside of the card. Just going to be very diligent about closing my stamp, my inks, and not getting ink um, on my finger. Hopefully. Ooh. Okay, so then that is going to go in here, right, so let's do it, I'm going to use this one this time. Three. So I think if I line it up with the front piece, And then that goes on there, and that way it should all be lined up. Okay. Right, so that's good. And then the next part is um, these frames are from. Um, the framed florets so these ones that are uh, early release it's it's in the mini catalog in january um 2023 but we've um, been able to get this uh from the first of november so the uh frame florets um dies comes in it's a die like this okay and then when you run through um, the big shot with a piece of cardstock, it actually cuts two pieces out at the same time. So one die and it cuts out these two pieces. Um, so yeah, so I'm only going to be using this, but you will get this in your kit as well because you might as well have it, right? Um, so just pick out of it. And you can use it on here if you prefer, but um, in my card, I am actually only going to use the inside. And also, the other side to this, there's another frame, which is this one here. Where are we? Boop, boop. So there is also this frame. Let me show you. Let me show you all the different dice that come with it. Okay, so I'm using this one here as well. And again, the same thing when you run through um, with a piece of cardstock, it cuts out two pieces in one go because it cuts out uh, that. All right. So again, I'm going to just include that in your kit because you may as well have it um, and you can use it for other stuff. Bonus. <laughs> I like to add value where possible. Right. I'm just going to um, put that aside. Now, so what I'm going to do is I don't need that, but I'll put it in your in your kit anyway. Um, that one was a spear when it came out. So that was out of the glimmer paper. All right, so this card is white and glimmer. <laughs> when I think of Christmas cards, I always think of shiny glimmer stuff, either gold, uh, silver, or glittery things. Okay, so then let me just put that away so I don't lose them. And then that will go on top so like likewise now um i wanted to cover this the frame so hence i'm putting this quite high up like so okay 
Right, so I'm very happy with that. Then I'm just going to put some glue. We're nearly done with this card. It's actually um, really uh, simple, but really effective. Just with all the things going on here. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Just making sure that you don't really want the corners of those frames showing. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Okay. I think that's cool. And then that will go on top of that. Now that I am going to use a little mini dimensionals. I don't need a lot. I'm just going to do four. Top, bottom... And the sides. Okay. So take that off. Okay. Get rid of that. And then that will just go on top of that. Then, um, this now should be alright. Let's have a look. That's a little bit uneven, eh? Hang on, I'm just going to move this. with this I'm just making sure that I've got adhesive all over here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make some sort of loops around here cheats way okay and then that can go on here that's just going to go on top there like that and we will use um, dimensional shall we oh oh there's moths flying around oh get, get away moths everywhere yeah So there are still a few more Christmas stamp sets that I wanted to um, do, but I have actually run out of um, monthly classes to do them in. Hence, I am doing, part of the reasons why I'm doing these classes to go is so that I can make some more Christmas cards and hopefully help you along the way if you are not quite as prepared as you like to be. Um, hmm, let me see, how do I want this, I think that way, maybe, okay, so, and then, um, again, in the interest of time, I have pre-done this, or oh, I thought I had, where's my thing, it's over here, okay, I have pre um, embossed my greeting 
Okay, so you can trim that down if you want, but I will just leave it as it is. Um, so there's no right or wrong, it's a personal preference. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. And really only going to do the sides. Okay, so now I'm just kind of fold it, um, kind of bend it a little bit just to give it a bit of a dimension right, and then that's just to cover that part let's just lift that up a little bit and cool we're ready to go so the last thing to do really um, for this is some gems now I realize we do not have gold gems. So what I've done is using the um, rhinestone basic jewel, I've colored it with Daffodil Delight um, or Mango Melody, whichever one you have. Like my Daffodil Delight is quite bad, as you can see the tip. But I have used that to color. So for example, let me just show you. That one's done. Yeah, just kind of kind of try and make it a bit more gold to kind of go with this card um, I think I will do three what do you think oh, come on. Ooh. So that will be included in your kit as well okay so then you can just kind of lift these up a little bit just give it dimensionals but there that's card number one done how's that pretty cool oh love it so you can either stamp a greeting here or you can write um so that's the difference when you just use the cardstock and when you actually use a stamp, the stamping as well. So that's card number one. So you'll get two of um, two kits, two of this in the mail when you place an order with me um, for forty New Zealand dollars or more for this week. Right, let's move on then to our second card. Now the great thing is, like, um, if you have the stamps. Um, it's great that you can stamp on your envelope as well. I won't do that in the interest of time for, with the video. Mm, not sure what oh, these were for the stamping. Um, right, the second card, which, um, so this is project number two, come like this, and this, love this, look at this. I have not used Very Vanilla in ages. I think this is the first time I've used Very Vanilla in over a year. Yep, it is that long. Um, I do love Very Vanilla, but I don't know. I think I've gone off using it for a while, but things come in season. <laughs> so the colours for these are red, real red, and early espresso. And then it's um, a base of old olive, but then I've shaded it to create um, a little bit more dimension. And, um, and then the leaves here. So this card, um, I think it's a little bit hard if you can't, if you don't have the stamps, um, I mean, you can do the rest. If you don't have the stamps and you aren't able to do this part, it might still look all right, um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll just, I'll, I'm going to demonstrate this time with the stamping for this one. Okay, so, um, oh, and it is actually a gift card holder. So this was just a gift card that, um, from Book Depository. <laughs> a voucher, a wine voucher, but that's just to show you for the size. Um, but yeah, so it's great for a gift card and room for writing, and that's for decoration. So yeah, so so if we pull out all the pieces and then here, let's have a look. Let's put that aside. Um, there, those two. 
Now, in the interest of time as well, I have pre-embossed this. Actually, I will pre-emboss this in your kit as well because um, uh, it doesn't come with the featured... Um, it's not part of the feature of this <laughs> this video, this tutorial. Okay, I'm just... I uh, can't speak today. Anyway, so that's simply glued on here. And that's glued on here. I'm just wondering why the sizing is slightly different. Um, but that's okay. We'll do. We'll work with that. Okay. So. I'm going to put glue on these. I don't know what your choice of um, glue is. But I do like using Tombow. Let me just see if that's meant to be on here. I think that's meant to be on here. Oops. Okay, let me just start that one. Right, so that's going to go there. There and then that will go on the end. Just being careful to line it up right at the top there. And should be, oops. The good thing about liquid glue is it allows you, give you a little bit of time to move things around. Oh, and this. So the flat needs gluing. So just a sliver of green glue, or liquid glue on here. And also a sliver down here. So you just don't want to be too heavy handed with your glue. Otherwise it's going to have glue everywhere. And you don't want that. Okay, so just hold it down for a few seconds and it'll be good as gold. And also what I do is actually I would run the bone folder and burnish it a little bit. Okay, that's cool. So that's the base. Um, and then um, we're pretty much nearly there. Alright, so I'm going to leave that aside. What I might do is do some stamping. Let's see. That is... A joyful Christmas. Hope I don't have any glue on that one yet. And we are going to stamp that in early espresso. Oops, where did that come from? Okay. So I've put mine kind of slightly towards the side. Oh, I can't really see. Um, let's do it. Oh, love it. Just love it. Early espresso. This card just seems so nice and warm. You know, like, um, not your typical New Zealand, I guess, but it still can be New Zealand because of the foliage, the green foliage. Right, so then we've got that one step done, and then I'm going to use, so these are all in very vanilla. Um, what are these for? Okay, oh, one, one of these is for in here, and it'll be that one. Nope. <laughs> Getting confused, it'll be that one, because it should be the same size. All right. So again... Um, if you want to stamp on here, feel free to do that, but I won't, um, and for the video, again, I'm just trying to not extend this video more than I need to, um, so just put glue on here, and then I'm just going to line it up with that, and... 
Cool. So that's the inside bit all ready to go. Right. And then one more stamping. So these two will be used for the stamping of the leaves. Um, and a few different colours. So old olive. So I can stamp these and then I can cut them as well. We've got that. Um, and the bigger leaf. No, I'm going to go this way. I'm trying to maximize the space. Cool. Two green leaves. And then that's the old olive. Now garden green. which is, I think I'm using the holly in Garden Green. But, oops, making sure. So one, oh, I don't need any more of that. Two different sizes. The big one, the bigger one. Ta-da! And what else do I need? That other one, which I am going to do that. The third leaf. So I'm just using the um, all the leaves. I'm going to do that. That one there. Ah. Oh. Don't you just love it? It's so beautiful. Stamps so well. Love it. Right, and then it's the red holly berries. So I'm just doing these now so I can then cut them all out. Right. Da -da. So when I go to cut these, I will show you. I'm going to use, I'm going to put these in the sandwich here and then try and move it. <laughs> oh, so we need sandwich number one, platform number one, platform number two. This is a typical sandwich, right, for when you're using dies. So one, two, three. And then you put your thingy there. Um, now let's see. What did I do with the stamp set? Right here. And all the dies should still be here. Take a look. So we've got that. And we have that. And so the big one might need to have, um, might need to do that later because it's too close. <sighs> Having trouble. I think those are too close. So, okay, I'm going to do that a bit later. And then the berries. So, I'm going to move this. Which way is this? I think it's this way. Oh dear. So, it's almost good. Then I need my third plate, okay, to go on top. Now I'm going to turn on the light. So, yeah. you just bear with me. I'm just going to take this to the embossing machine um, and just run this through. Not 
too far out. See, that's why I try to pre-cut some of them, you know, pre-do some of the stuff. So that one's done. So we just move that out of the way. Um, and that too. Right. Okay, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and you can see my plate is so well used. <laughs> okay, now then I need, what else do I need? I need the big one and I need the big ferny die cut die for this and I think that goes that way oops just need my finger Move it a little bit back on here. Don't move them. Right, I'll be back. No, I moved it. Sorry, I have to um, readjust it because I moved it. Right, then we've got one more thing that we need the big shot for. So let's put this aside here and put that aside there. That one is rubbish. Um, let's put these away here for now. Just going to put so I don't know if you saw what I did here. I actually have the outline so that I can quickly tell what's missing. Um, on there. I know people like um putting putting their dies onto a magnetic sheet um but i think this works well for me so i will stick with this for a while i think it's that way and then this was the other holly um right. oh that's my husky are you right, Andy? Oh my goodness. So scary. <laughs> when you least expect to hear something. Right, so move that out of the way. Now, one more thing that we need this um, for is this green, whoops, this green piece is to cut out now. So I wanted to show you um, how we do this. So there are two ways about it, and this is my favorite way of doing it. Um, if I'm cutting out um, the outline, I, I take the, the complicated one, the intricate one, all right, and I'm going to cut that out first. All right, so just see how do I do this that way, so everything is in. So. Right, and then I'm going to put this on. So the sandwich is plate one, plate two, plate three, and then the die cut and uh, the paper, the cardstock, and the and the um, die, and then plate three. So now I'm going through to the big shot. Right, So I've just run it through once. Just wondering whether I think that's good enough. Let's have a look. So then that comes all the way out. Okay. So it cuts the shape. And then now I can emboss this.
Right, so you take the embossing. We'll need um, so when we're embossing, we don't need these plates. We take all these plates away. We just need number one and number four. Okay. Right, so take your embossing folder and then line it up with the pattern. Okay, all lined up. Right, when you're happy with it, then you close it. Have a double, just check it. You can see it's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go through this now, through the big shot, wind it through. Now you get all the details. You see that? Isn't that cool, eh? So, um, there are little bits that might need poking out. Okay, so that's good. Yep, so I'm just going to take those ones out. That one's cool. Quite happy with that, though. That one's true. Okay, pretty good. Now at this point, you can leave it like so, and it'll be pretty. Um, but also, um, in the same vein, if you want it to, you can add dimension, dimension and interest to your card by um, sponging around all the different colors. Yeah, so... Um, I have basically just taken like the uh, stamping blend brush and do them in the different colors. So I'm not sure what color is on here already. So there's already some color here from before. And I'm just going to run it through because this is the lightest color, I think. Oh, and also because I, I haven't actually re it. I'm just using whatever is already on this. Um, it's a green one, I know, because I used it too to show to do my sample card <laughs> all right then if you notice what I've done is I have made the holly um the garden green did I do it's a holly garden green yeah holly's garden green so I left these ones here old lot of and ho holly is garden green and then these um you know, they're different kinds of leaf. They're more of the rounded ones. Um, and so those ones are in shaded spruce. So let me just, and that's the darker one. So I'm going to go with the light to dark. So pick up some color from garden green. Yeah, just like that. And always start to the side. Right, so that, because you can always add color. But if you go straight on and it might be too dark and then you can't do anything about it. Right, so I just keep going until I'm happy. Yep, okay. Kind of give that color. So I'm just doing that for the holly. Holly leaves. And then just with the extra, so I might just go run over a little bit so that the um, old olive isn't really stark old olive. Happy with that, and then shade it spruce. Um, so this one is using the darker one. Just going to get that brush here. Be gentle, <laughs> right? There we go. So, so 
So we have a summer holiday, summer Christmas I mean, um, those of you who are watching the video uh, in Northern Hemisphere, it will be a little bit um, probably hard for you to imagine to have <laughs> a summer Christmas. Um, yeah, but That's what we have, can't do much about that. Right. So, but I still really like snowflakes for Christmas. Um, I know some people, some Kiwis I know in New Zealand, they don't really um, enjoy having Christmas cards that are full of snowflakes and Northern Hemisphere stuff. Um, but I do, I think it's magical um, with snowflakes. Snowflakes and Christmas. It's all part of the wandering all for me. Right, so that, I believe, is just glued straight on. So we can do that. Oh, there's one more thing I haven't done, which is to add some colour on the little berries. So you can see the little things that you can do to uh, change these slightly. So these, these things here... I believe I like little berries. Oh, I've turned this upside down. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I don't think it matters. So I don't know if you see what I've done. It's different. So that card, I've done it that way. And this one is done this way. Oh well. Let's have a look then. I'm sure it'll be all right. So that's just a little bit of a holly berries things down here and some down here. This is kind of weird. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to build these over here. I get rid of this now, I don't need that. So you can see what I'm doing. Alright, I've got that. I've got the this and oh pick that up. So I'm just gonna glue them together sort of. That, that looks all right to me. <laughs> Radio, so I'm just going to put that down like so. And then Right. Okay. Maybe I did it that way. I think that one was done. So I might just lift this up. I'm just sticking a mini dimensionals under there. Okay. 
then let's put some more glue here. No, actually, you know what? I want to make the berry stand out. So you see before what I say to you? If I get glue on here, I'm going to rub it on that. Um, Alright, I'm going to put a little mini dimensional on the berries. So they are up a little bit. with that and then that we'll go so I might need to put dimensionals down here as well just to give it some support as you can see all right and Okay, so we're almost done. Whoops, what have I done? <laughs> right, then that goes on there. Right, just so remember that you want to be able to open this. So you don't want to glue, you don't want glue on this side because you don't want it to glue down that. You only want to glue it on this side. So I'm going to glue on here just to be sure I'm not going to go I'm going to glue it less in half right because I'm going to center this right here happy with that And that is card number two, just like that. So if you want it to, um, you can add more bling, more gold. Maybe here. What are you doing, Hindi? What's up, girl? Grab that. See, I don't know if I want to put bling on that side. That one's got a little bit more bling. Okay. Right, so that's card number two. So you will get kits, um, two kits for this design. And you will get two kits for our first card, which I have no idea where it's gone now. <laughs> oh, there it is. So let me just kind of put all these things aside. Alright, so we can have a little bit of frame here so you can see. So there's those and there's that. Right, so those are the now I promised you some samples of what I have also done um, using these. Uh, so this is part of um, the design of my monthly um, DIY card kit um, featuring designer series paper. So, um, so those are the, 
different papers that you get. So that one. So I haven't actually glued the insides down so they're a little bit that right and uh, this was a card that I did um, last year I think it was um, for an extravaganza so it was like a little wall hanging that has a Merry Christmas um, message on the front and then throughout the year you can hang this up as well and there'll be the year um, calendar so that was what we did last year this was um, one of my designs that I featured in 12 Weeks of Christmas. It's a tag. That one was just using the foliage and in different colors and cherry cobbler this might have been. Um, and crumb cake. And cinnamon cider I think it was. Um, which is now a retired color. That one I have used the embossing folder um, on vellum so when you do that it stretches the card and it gives these little white outline uh, which is cool I love that effect and in this case I've just done something different I've just cut it in half and only used half of it um, so I really like that and this was also another it's similar to what we have done in the second card um, with this card it's the same design except you're using foil, gold foil on this and it's just splendid isn't it, it's just beautiful, just love this. So there we go, so these are some of the samples of things that I have made, um, but yeah, the, um, these are the cards that you can get for um, placing an order uh, of minimum of $40, alright, so thank you very much for joining me and I'll catch you another time. See ya.